Hey you guys, happy Friday. I hope you are having a great week or off to a great start with your Friday and hopefully into a great weekend. So I just wanted to come to you live with a new recipe. This one was breakfast this morning. So I got my little sous chef back there. I'm bribing her with blueberries and a little mini, I think it's like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. But anyways, so today I am going to do a healthier muffin recipe. This one, has banana and some mini blueberries in there. And then I just pulled out of the oven, I used the same recipe, but instead of the bananas, I used um, a half a cup of Greek yogurt, and instead of the chocolate chips, I did blueberries. So that one is done and cooling, and I'm gonna show you how I do the banana and chocolate chip ones. But I'm basically using a box mix, this Kodiak Cakes, I really like it because if you have heard my carb rule in the past, this one comes pretty darn close. So the carb rule, you want 150 calories or less. This one's at, sitting at 190, so not terrible. And you also want, the other thing you're gonna look at is fiber, carbs, and sugar. So you're gonna come right down here. You want at least one gram of fiber for every 10 gram of carbs. So you can see there that it fits that rule. The other thing you wanna see is you want your fiber to be the grams a little more than your sugar. So we're good there as well. Now, I will tell you, with this recipe, we are adding some brown sugar, so that will change, but your your base is pretty good here. So even if you do these, we do these waffles a lot, that's a pretty good carb, so if you're looking for the morning. And I am just using the recipe right off the back of the box, so nothing I came up with, because I will tell you right now, I don't come up with my own recipes, typically. I will tweak a lot here and there, um, but I go with what I find, usually. So... Um, this is, like I said, this, I'm a Kroger shopper typically. This is in Kroger. This is probably in all of your main grocery, grocery chains. Um, find it right in like the syrup aisle and the breakfast mix aisle. So Kodiak cakes, lots of good recipes. And if you go on their website, you'll find some as well. So I have two cups of just the mix right out of the box. And then we're gonna add a three-fourths cup of milk. You can use milk of your choice. This is 2%. You could use whole milk, almond milk, I don't typically bake with skim milk. Um, I, don't, I used to drink skim milk, I don't anymore. I drink almond milk now. But for baking, the, the more fat, um, it seems the taste is better. So just my personal opinion. Um, instead of butter for this one, so we used half a cup of butter for the other ones. I'm using coconut oil in these ones just to kind of show you a variety. You can use kind of whatever fat you want to. Um, butter, you could use oil. I'm gonna use coconut oil for this one. So quarter cup of oil, half a cup of brown sugar. Like I said, we're adding a little bit of sugar to these. Um, we're gonna do two bananas. I've already mashed them up, so this is just two kind of medium-sized bananas. Toss those in there. One egg. Careful. Are you okay? All right, and then the only other two things we're gonna do is we're gonna do one teaspoon each of cinnamon and vanilla extract. Now with this, again, you could use coconut extract, almond extract, however you really wanna flavor this up. Vanilla is just, if you are a baker or have baked in the past, you know that vanilla is kind of the, the usual. Um, but you can switch that up. There's a lot of cool different um, extracts that you can find now. Not always in the grocery store chains. If if you're looking for something in particular, even the almond extract, I sometimes have trouble finding in the chains, in the grocery chains, so I'll get it on Amazon. So one teaspoon each of cinnamon. It looks like I need more cinnamon. And then one teaspoon ooh, of vanilla extract. And then anytime you're baking and adding something in like a softer fruit or any, you know, of the, like those mix-ins, the add-ins at the end, I always kind of mix my basic stuff up first and then add whatever extras in, fold those in at the end so you're not like overly mixing. And you want to make sure like it doesn't get stuck on one of the ingredients and doesn't mix in as well. I have just found that, I know that sounds very official and very professional, doesn't it? Um, I have just found that if you mix all the ingredients up first, 
and then fold in your additional stuff at the end, it just seems to kind of incorporate the add-ins a little bit better throughout as opposed to throwing them all in together, which you can do. And I'm sure there's probably a professional baker reason behind that, but what I have found is, especially if you're using something softer like blueberries or something like that, you don't wanna like mash, macerate those all up when you're trying to mix everything else together. So that's why you fold those in at the end. And there are gonna be some lumps in this from the bananas, that's okay. And I will warn you, um, this looks like your pretty typical like bread batter, but the last ones that I did with the blueberries and the Greek yogurt, the batter was a little bit thicker. It was a thicker consistency. So just FYI, if that's the one you choose to do. Okay, so we've got our batter mixed up. I'm gonna toss our chocolate chips in. Half a cup of those, and I'm using just mini chocolate chips. Um, and that's just, I love banana and chocolate. And you know, honestly, if I had them, I would throw in some peanut butter chocolate chips because that would be really good too. We actually, there's a, a little market, it's called Plank Town. I don't know if any of you have ever been there, um, but they have a lot of like kind of cool baking stuff. And um, I got a bunch of the mini peanut butter chocolate chips one time and those were really good. I would use those in here. I would use them in my little mini protein bites. Those are really good. So what I'm going to do with this now, life hack tip, these silicone baking cups, lifesaver, it makes it so much easier. Um, and per usual in our house, one is missing. So <laughs> I've sprayed the crap out of this one with just a, a cooking oil. Um, 350 degree oven for 16 to 18 minutes or until the top is kind of crispy brown and yummy. So I'm just gonna fill these, pop those up. Here is what the blueberry ones look like. Those just came out, so I'm gonna get her some because as you can see, her tray is pretty empty. So I hope this was helpful. If you guys wanna see anything more, any other type of recipes, I try and change it up. I try and do like a breakfast, a dinner, a lunch, a snack kind of mixed in throughout. So if there's anything in particular you want to see, let me know. Hope you have a great weekend. We'll see you soon.